There is a sound that Skyly Voss loves to hear. When the puck hits the stick. It's a sound she's just getting used to. Skyly has only played hockey for one year. She hasn't even scored her first career goal, but she has been close. A teammate had the puck and like I was like down on the ice and he was looking for someone to pass it to, so I was like open. So I like trying to get it in, but he stopped it. You trying to go top shelf? Top shelf. Mm. Starting the game as a teenager is pretty rare around here. But the wait was worth it for the girl who has hockey in her heart. Skyly's health journey started when she was just two months old. She went to daycare one morning, got a call from daycare saying she wasn't feeling good. Made a doctor's appointment when I got to daycare, ambulance, fire trucks were there and she was white as a ghost. They transferred her to Children's in St. Paul intubated her, and by the time I was finally allowed back, told me she was in major heart failure and might not make it. The diagnosis was cardiomyopathy, a disease of the heart muscle. Which half of the heart was enlarged and the other half wasn't pumping. At three months old, Skyly underwent a heart transplant. The procedure was a success, and outside of doctor's visits and checkups, Skyly was just like any other kid, active and energetic. At 10 years old, she discovered roller hockey and loved playing with a friend in the neighborhood. Then she played floor hockey in the Special Olympics, but Skyly had her sights set on the ice. She kept talking about ice hockey, and I kept telling her no, no. And then I finally told her one day, if you're Cardiologist will sign off on it. We'll go buy your equipment right away, the same day, thinking there's no way. I thought she was going to say no because of my heart. And then she said I could, and then I was, like, really happy. I was just, like, smiling a lot. Because this one thought it was going to be a no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With her doctor's blessing, Skyly joined a team in the Minneapolis Rec League. It was hard the first day. But then I got used to it. Remember to keep your chest up and your butt down. Like okay. Sitting down. I just started practicing a lot and my coaches helped me. Turn towards center ice every time. So we'll end up on that side. Yep. Coaches like Eric Lindbergh, who did not know about Skyly's medical history when she first started. Early in the season knew nothing about it and slowly the story leaked out to me. She certainly never mentioned to me one time herself. Skyly says she doesn't talk much about her heart transplant because she doesn't want to be treated any differently. And she's far too busy learning how to stick handle and change speeds and stop on the ice. All new skills for Skyly. She couldn't skate backwards for nothing last year. And just seeing her last week doing it backwards was a huge thing. We just keep going backwards all the way. Determination is a big part of her personality from undergoing a heart transplant at three months old to skating for the first time as a teen. Her resolve is real. To me, Skyly's story is impressive. She's working hard to try something new. It can be a little uncomfortable, not the easiest thing to do. And, you know, I just have a lot of respect and admiration for you know, going out there all the time and trying your best and getting out of your comfort zone and just keeping up hard work, keeping after it. I look at it a lot that she's been through more things than most people do that are 80, 90 years old. And she's still determined every day to get up and do it all over again. And now that sound, the puck hitting the stick, is music to her ears. Because Skyly discovered something she truly loved when she put her whole heart into hockey.